So God had a caretaker for the land, but now he needed a keeper of the water. So on the ninth day, God made a fisherman. He needed someone to get up before the sun and blistering heat, pouring rain, or bitter cold. Someone to catch fish and shrimp, farm oysters and trap crabs. Someone to feed his family and his community. So God made a fisherman. It cannot be a job, but a way of life. He must know his waters and its marshes. He should be captain of his vessel. He must be able to cast a line, set a trap, and throw a net. He must be able to endure in times of disaster. Man-made destruction or the wrath of Mother Nature. He must return, rebuild, restore. There can be no discussion, no decision. It's in his blood, his heritage. His father lived his life before him, and his children will carry it on long after he is gone. So God made a fisherman. His impact on the communities around him will be immeasurable. From the equipment, licenses, and tags that he buys, to the packing houses, grocery stores, and restaurants that survive off of his bounty, he must be the model of conservation. No one knows the waters and its coast like he does, and no one will fight harder for them when they are threatened. It is his livelihood, his heritage, his identity. The coast is his home. He must defend it like no other and no matter what the cost. He needed a mere man willing to stand up to any Goliath to preserve, protect, and sustain his coast and its waters. So God made a fisherman.